95% sure that Kimchi's accent is fake. Well, what can I say? Professor Link, the following is a list of things that you should know about your class. One, there are too many lists. Two, quit it with the lists. Three, not everything needs to be expressed in list form. Four, I hope you found this commentary and list to be interesting. Five, and this is a two-parter, A, lists, B, are annoying. That is wrong. That is so wrong. I can tell you five reasons why that's wrong. Professor Dean's wife. We know that Dean is nice and all, but you can do better. No shit. <laughs> Janet Ross looks like Cruella de Vil. Oh, I go in the hairdresser on the weekend, and I hear she hates puppies. Well, that's cruel. Professor Parachin looks like the love child of Joffrey Lupo and that dude from Big Bang Theory. Professor Parachin is so monotone that he once escaped a grizzly bear attack by speaking. The bear fell asleep in seconds. Take that, Leo. Professor Parachin looks like Sheldon Cooper. OMG, you look like Sheldon Cooper. I'm serious, this guy looks like Sheldon Cooper. Peter Griffin implementing the Socratic method. Your course is shit and you are a terrible teacher. Had I known these two things, I would have taken the course from someone else. Your course is like having major surgery. It is terrifying and painful, but I suppose you are the better for it when it is over. The words he chooses to inflect are at complete random. That's not true. The question isn't whether Chris Sharon was a reasonably engaging prof. It's whether a reasonable person similarly situated would willingly take his class and consider his lecture to be sufficient, knowing it is reasonably foreseeable that he will say reasonable a minimum of 27 times per lecture. If I get one more ad drop related email from Misty, I'm using all my bid points to transfer to Queens. Well. Uh, don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Who names their kid Misty? Was she born to be a stripper? Well, uh, that might be a little bit more of a lucrative career than the one I have now. Who? NASA discovered a new light-reflecting planetoid, Professor Graham's head. Nah. Enough with the bow ties. We get it. You're unique. Why so awkward and yelly? I'm not awk awk awkward and yelly. Professor Graham looks like a serial killer and sounds like one too. It puts the camera down or else it gets the hose again. She hates everyone. True. <laughs> Needs to bring pot to class more often. Dot, I think that's, that's, that's you. That Chamberlain chick be trippin' yo naming that downstairs chill area after herself. She cray. Professor Chamberlain is pretty smart, I think. Poor one. Professor Chamberlain's shoes look like something that my grandmother would wear. Must be one styling grandma. Deceive, trick, hoax, dupe, hoodwink, sucker, swindle, cheat, con, pull a fast one, take for a ride, Pull the wool over someone's eyes. Get a thesaurus, man. There's more out there than bamboozle. Stop trying to make corporations as people happen. It's not going to happen. What's that? My question does not compute? Well, neither do your shorts, bud. A bud is the beginning of a leaf. Who does your book covers? I've published a collection of short erotic fiction and think they'd be a perfect fit. Reaction. To what does fit refer? Does not compute. Professor Costal is a communist. Dean, fire him right away. Professor Costal is a fascist. Dean, fire him right away. Professor Costal is a boring fascist. Fire him right away. Professor Costal is a nice guy, but he dresses like a hobo. Professor Costal thinks he's funny, but he's effing not. Professor Costal is a dreamy stud muffin. Yeah, I made that one up myself. <laughs>